A few days ago, I saw a tweet by the Dalai Lama. That's to say the leader of the exiled Tibetans. I responded to it. Thank you very much. But my point was, in regard to my statement, my tweet, that old Tibet was not a nice place. I don't know if his holiness got that. In old Tibet, there were two classes of people. The vast majority of people were incredibly poor, living on, well, things like yak butter and yak milk tea. Punishments for crimes, things such as eye gouging. They had no real solid rights, freedoms, security in their life in that way as the impoverished masses. The other class was the priesthood, who had pretty much all of the wealth, all of the power, and they were led by the Dalai Lama and previous Dalai Lamas. So what we're talking about is a entirely religious state and the lack of possibility for true progression other than within the context of a pacifist religion. That was my point. My point was that if and when Tibet is free again, it deserves far more, and indeed far better, than it had during the old regime before the Chinese invaded and conquered the people of Tibet. Now, just simply to add, I do not have any illusions about the brutality of the Chinese since they've occupied Tibet. I don't have any doubts about the brutality of what was a very much more hard line regime and still now is well an absolute dictatorship run by a party which believes it can regulate everything and anything in people's lives but two wrongs don't make a right do they and the enemy of my enemy is not my friend However, to add to that and make his final statement, many of the ideas expressed by the Dalai Lama while in exile are incredibly progressive and well worth integrating. The idea of secularism, the idea of human freedom and choice, so I would hope, as I've said, that if and when Tibet is free, it will have a new and better way about it than it had in the previous free Tibet 